Hello doers, my name is Jose Ignacio. Now in this video, we're gonna learn more about lead generation. For those of you unaware, lead generation is the process of finding new potential customers for a business. As you can imagine, finding new customers is crucial for the expansion and success of any company. Here at Stealthywood, we use a few different methods to generate leads for our sales teams. In this video, we're gonna take a closer look at online forms and email aliases. But don't worry, I'm gonna be covering more methods in another video, so be sure to check that out. Okay. So let's say that we sent out a marketing campaign encouraging people to check out our company by going to our website and signing up for a free trial. Once that they're on our website, they'll fill out a form and then the information they submit on that form can be turned into a lead for our salespeople. The same can be accomplished if we provide potential customers with an email alias to contact if they want to learn more about us. Once that they send their email, Odo can use that message to generate a lead for that potential customer immediately. And that's pretty cool. So enough chit chat, let's jump right in. All right, before we get started, it's important to remind you that you're gonna to need to have the leads feature activated in the CRM settings. And that's just because you need it in order for any of these lead generation methods to work. So once that you've done that and checked that box, you'll be ready to go. And as you can see, we got our leads feature locked and loaded. So let's jump over to our free trial page on our website. So on our website, you'll see a simple form we created for potential customers to fill out if they're interested in starting a free trial with us. Now we've also configured it so that Odoo will create a lead in our CRM app as soon as somebody hits this little button right there. And that's gonna be based on all of the info they provide on our form. And of course, like any other aspect of our website, we can customize the look, feel, and function of it with Odoo. So let me show you how to create a basic form like this to generate leads for your sales team. So first, click edit in the top right corner, and you'll notice we have a new menu. Now scroll down all the way until you reach dynamic content over here. Now we built this page by dragging and dropping the form over here. I just wanted to show it real quick. And then we customized it to fit our needs. As you can see, we have three required fields over here, name, email, and subject. How do I know they're required? Well, they have a little asterisk right there. And then once that these are filled out, somebody hits that get a free trial button, and we have an instant lead in our CRM app. Now, in order for this form to actually submit and create a lead, we need to configure it properly. So if we actually click anywhere in the form, you'll notice we swapped over to the customize section. The very first one I want to draw your attention to is the action part right there. It's set to create an opportunity right now. This lets Odoo know to create an opportunity whenever one of these forms is filled out and submitted. And since we have the leads feature already activated like we did in the settings, that means it'll become a lead first before it makes its way to our opportunity pipeline. Now below the action field, you'll notice something else. We have the option to assign the lead to a specific sales team or salesperson. And once those configurations are complete, all you have to do is hit save, but I'm gonna discard this in case I touched anything. Now let's imagine one of our campaigns or advertisements let a prospective customer to this page, and they're interested in signing up for a free trial. Awesome. In that case, all they have to do is fill out the fields, which are already filled out, and then they just click get a free trial. And just like that, everything is done. Odoo then lets us know the form was submitted successfully with this nice little thank you page. Perfect. Now let's jump back to our CRM app so I can show you what this looks like on the back end. So back over here in Odoo, we're actually gonna click on leads up here on the top header and boom, look at that. Our very first one right there, I'd like a free trial and it's perfect. And once that we've opened it, we'll see that information from the online form is fully present. And the title of the lead is the free trial option as the subject field our customer filled out on the form. At this point, the assigned salesperson or sales team would follow up with our customer, gauge their interest, and hopefully convert this to an opportunity. Because once it's converted to an opportunity, that's when it'll appear in our pipeline and that's when we'll do our very best to close that deal. And that's how easy it is to generate leads from an online form. It's pretty simple, but that's just one of the ways that we can generate leads with Odoo CRM. Let's see how we can generate leads from an email alias, shall we? Okay, so let's say that we have a customer who's not sure if they're ready for a free trial, but they are sure that they want more information about our company that's when they'll likely reach out to a contact email that we have listed on our website. Now, configuring Odoo to create a lead whenever an email is sent to a sales team's alias email is super easy. So let me show you how it's actually done though. So inside of the CRM app right now, we're actually gonna click on configuration and sales teams. And this next part is actually pretty important because from here, we need to select a sales team. Like in our case, we're gonna pick US sales. And then from the sales team form, you need to ensure that both you have the email alias set up as an option over here. So all you actually have to do is just fill it out. And then we can customize the name of our email alias to be whatever we want. 
We also want to ensure that the leads box is checked off for the sales team, and that's going to be up at the top underneath the actual title of the team. So make sure that's there. With that checked, Oda will automatically create a lead for this team whenever anyone sends an email down to this alias. So you need both. But let's see how this looks in action. So to do that, we're going to hop over to our email account. So here you'll see that we already have that address up at the top in the to field. That's just to save you time. So let's give this a very short subject and then some info text right there. And once it looks good, we hit send over there. Great. And now I also want to make a quick note that Odoo offers Gmail and Outlook plugins that allow users to integrate their email inboxes directly into Odoo. But I have a whole other video about that, so feel free to give that a watch if you're interested. Right now, I want to hop back over to our CRM app to show you what this email generated. Back in the CRM app, we've actually generated a lead, so we're going to go naturally up to leads in the top header, and voila, there it is right there, info needed. And if we check over here in the email section, it's the email address it was sent from. And when we look at the chatter over here, we can actually see the body of the email that was sent. Now again, from here, our sales team would follow up with this lead and hopefully nurture it to becoming an opportunity and eventually a closed deal. And it all started with a simple email alias. How cool is that? All right, Odoers, there we have it. That's how leads can be generated using online forms and email aliases. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to be going over a couple other lead gen methods in another video. So be sure to stay tuned for that. It's going to be a good one. See you there, Odoers. Go grab a snack.